We're making our own battery cells. We believe this will be the most advanced cell in the world here at Giga Texas. And we think, with time, it could become the largest battery cell factory on the planet. A new kind of battery has quietly stepped out from Tesla's secret labs in Austin, Texas. Unlike past flashy product reveals, there was no big stage, no media show, just a silent breakthrough that is now shaking the EV world. From the outside, it looks like an ordinary battery pack. But inside, it's faster, safer, and far more powerful than anyone expected. It doesn't only store energy, it pushes it out instantly without fade, without delay, and without dangerous overheating. Tesla hasn't just upgraded a battery. They have changed the entire game. For more than a decade, the EV race revolved around one main material, lithium. It powered luxury sedans, budget EVs, and became the unquestioned heart of the industry. But lithium came with problems every engineer knew about. It charged slowly, lost capacity over time, and had the constant danger of thermal runaway when it got too hot. Brilliant engineers worked on fixes, faster chargers, better cooling, new cell shapes, but those improvements were always small. A little more range here, a couple of minutes off charging there. Progress was steady, but it was limited. The conversation in the industry became less about breakthroughs and more about managing lithium's weaknesses. Lithium was still costly, difficult to mine, and tied to unstable global supply chains. Yet, while most companies were trying to squeeze more from lithium, Tesla quietly stepped away from that game. They didn't want to just win using old rules. They wanted to end the old rules completely. Inside Tesla's Austin lab, engineers asked, why keep fighting lithium's flaws when another solution was right there unused? They began working with aluminum, a material battery scientists had rejected for decades. Aluminum is cheap, common, and highly conductive. But it had one major issue, ion lock. Aluminum ions could store energy, but couldn't release it fast. Enough for real-world use. For years, this was the wall no one could break. Tesla broke it. They developed a special carbon-graphene substrate with atomic-scale induction points. This didn't just let aluminum ions move. It made them move at lightning speed. Once it worked, the world of batteries changed instantly. Lithium's weaknesses were no longer a problem. Tesla had unlocked a material that could release power almost instantly, without overheating, without degrading, and without depending, on unstable supply chains. The breakthrough wasn't only about chemistry, it was also about delivery. Tesla created something they called Quantum Burst Control, or QBC. Instead of releasing energy in a slow, steady stream like normal batteries, QBC sent it out in high-speed pulses. The result was instant torque with zero lag, almost as if the car could sense the driver's foot before it moved. In the lab, numbers looked unreal. 7,000 watts per kilogram, more than five times higher than Tesla's own 4680 lithium-ion cells. And where lithium batteries risked melting at 40, Degrees Celsius, aluminum ion batteries thrived at 85 degrees. They delivered stable power without massive cooling systems running in the background. It was like switching from a garden hose to a fire hydrant. The same amount of water, but released with unstoppable force. For Tesla, this wasn't just progress. It was a whole new era. Tesla didn't just fit this battery into an old car. They built a new car around it. Inside the company, the project was called Redwood. To the world, it would be known as the Model 2, a compact EV with unbelievable numbers, a price under $16,000, a driving range of 550 miles on one charge, and a recharge time of just five minutes. Early prototypes were tested in secret, covered, in plain black wraps, running laps on closed tracks. Reporters who rode in them didn't know what battery was inside. They only knew the car shot forward harder than anything in its class, hitting zero to 60 in just over three seconds, again and again, with no overheating or power loss, no cooling down, no fade. It just worked, every time. Aluminum had always been dismissed, in battery research. 
It was light and common, but in tests it was too unstable and too reactive. Most scientists gave up. Tesla didn't. They saw aluminum's problems not as a dead end, but as an obstacle to overcome. By embedding aluminum in a crystalline structure coated with graphene-like layers, they flipped the weakness into strength. Instead of weakening when hot, the structure tightened, getting more efficient as the temperature climbed. On racetracks, in deserts, hauling loads, performance didn't fade, it got better. And because aluminum is the third most abundant element, on Earth, supply chain problems disappeared. No cobalt mining issues, no geopolitical bargaining. Just an endless, cheap, and clean resource ready to power millions of cars. Fast charging had always been EV's Achilles heel. Even the fastest lithium packs needed 30 minutes or more to nearly fill up. Tesla's aluminum ion battery crushed that limit. In a private demo for investors, engineers rolled out a black wrapped Model 2, plugged it into a normal Tesla supercharger, and started the timer. In just five minutes, it was at 80%. No special cables, no new infrastructure, just the new chemistry and a redesigned charging system that could handle the burst. Inside the cells, nano structured pathways moved ions like liquid light skipping the slow points that limit lithium. Even more surprising, the battery barely warmed up. No roaring fans, no stressed coolant systems, just pure, clean, fast energy transfer. With that moment, one of the biggest arguments against EVs vanished. Charging wasn't a problem anymore. It was just a short pause. Normal batteries begin dying from day one. Each cycle cuts their capacity little by little. Tesla's aluminum ion flipped this around. Each cycle didn't damage it. It made it stronger. The structure adjusted under stress, like bone healing thicker after a break. Tests showed that even after 500,000 full cycles, the battery still delivered 100% of its original power. That's more than a century of daily use without fading. And regenerative braking captured up to 98% of wasted energy, adding nearly 20% more range in city driving. Extreme heat, freezing cold, Heavy towing, rapid acceleration, nothing hurt. It. This wasn't survival. The battery actually thrived on stress, proving the old rules of battery life were gone. Tesla knew such a breakthrough couldn't be slowed down by old-style factories. That's why the first aluminum ion hub was built at Giga Mexico, a factory designed for speed and scale. They ditched the water-heavy coating method used in lithium production and replaced it with a dry electrode process. This cut production, time in half and saved billions of gallons of water every year. From raw materials to finished battery packs, the process took under 72 hours. But Tesla's vision went beyond one factory. They wanted a swarm of micro factories, smaller fully autonomous plants spread across the globe, each making up to a million packs per year. By spreading out production, Tesla avoided supply chain choke points and political risks. It wasn't just mass production. It was true energy independence. Numbers on a page are impressive, but the real proof is in driving. Press the accelerator and the car responds instantly, slamming you back in your seat every single time with no fade. No hesitation, no lag, no waiting for energy. Unlike traditional EVs that throttle back to protect their batteries, Tesla's aluminum ion doesn't need to hold back. Launch it again and again, climb steep hills, tow heavy loads, or weave through city streets, it performs the same. Tesla's AI-driven power system adjusts in real time, matching your driving style and the road ahead. It feels less like driving a machine and more like the machine is anticipating your every move. The arrival of Tesla's aluminum ion battery isn't just another step forward. It's a leap that resets the definition of what an electric car can be and even what energy itself can mean in daily life. Charging, range, lifespan, and cost, the four barriers that once slowed EVs, have all been broken at once. The question now isn't whether electric cars can replace gas. The question is how fast the world can adapt before it's left behind. Because the race is no longer about making a better car. It's about creating the future. And Tesla is already living in it.